My name is Mark Pearson. Uh, I'm an artist based in Peckham. It's interesting how, how you end up documenting somewhere that you never expected to. I mean, I started painting Peckham um, a long time ago, um, my, long before I actually sold the work. And I realised, only and through people's observation, that I was actually documenting the change that's happening, you know, in, in the architecture and the gentrification and just the different peoples coming in. It's something that I, I didn't realise I was doing in such a way, but it, it's now it's really apparent in the work. Off and on during the lockdown, when I had to self-isolate, so I couldn't go to my studio and found myself working for my kitchen table um, a lot more than I used to. And, uh, and found it quite interesting because I, uh, I, I tend to work on um, a number of paintings at once. Um, I have a lot, of, a lot of ideas going on at the same time. And what I was really interested in last summer was after lockdown, the, there was a different feeling on Rye Lane where I had my studio. They'd stopped the traffic um, and it had such a different feel. It had a, had a real, it was like a real sort of, um, sort of promenade. And I really liked it. And I did a lot of drawing and painting down there. The shops, I think only half of the shops were, were open. So people were collecting out in front of the shops. They were, they were cooking, they were sitting, they were catching up, they were selling stuff. Um, and I really wanted to capture that atmosphere. For me, Rye Lane has been a really, a really interesting source of inspiration because of its diversity and the people that occupy it. I come out of Rye Lane from, from an alleyway for my studios and it's a quite a small entrance and I'm always knocked out every time I come out of that entrance because I'm always trying to capture it. And for me, I'm never quite scratch the itch, you know? I'm always trying to capture it, and there's always more. I have a sort of love relationship with, with Peckham Station because of its architecture and its grandness. And I was waiting in the waiting room um, for a train, and I looked out the window, which is actually quite hard to get to. It's not, you're not meant to, <laughs> you have to go behind the bench, it's quite, a, obstacle sort of calls to get. And I looked out the window and I saw this, this beautiful angle of Peckham Station that I'd never, never seen. And with the light, which is quite dramatic. So I started to, um, and it was, I started to sketch and, and uh, paint up there. We, there. There was no one, very few people in, got used that, used that small um, waiting room. And it, cause it's, it's, it's a winter place. So in the summer, no one was in there. So, and I loved it. It was, and I did quite a bit of work up there. This, that last summer. The open house is over two weekends in May and I've been doing it um, pretty much constantly uh, for about five years or maybe a bit longer. Um, I really enjoy it. The last couple of years have been a very different experience for me because well last year we had no one in. Um, this year there's a possibility that people can come in in very small numbers but I think what I miss is, is a house full of people talking and chatting and drinking, neighbours in. I, miss, I really miss that energy. And, uh, and it just, you know, I, I know, you know it's going to come back one day and I, I'm, I'm, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, so in the meantime, this is it. <laughs>